Hello there, Madam Z here, and thank you for hanging out with me today, which is Wednesday, which is our weekly live Wisdom Wednesday training. So welcome everyone who's coming in. Madam Z here, your magical life coach and the headmistress of Madam Z School of Witchery and also the phenomenal Facebook group of Master Your Magic. So while we're waiting for some people to come in, speaking of that, um, if you haven't joined my Facebook group, come hang out with us on the Facebook group. I'll put a link in the description, in the comments, or wherever you are actually watching this, because I am doing um, live across all of my platforms. So come hang out with us. We do a lot of cool stuff. We have daily themes. I need a drink, y'all. Um, lots of fun stuff going on. So come hang out with us in the Master Your Magic Facebook group. That's where all of the cool stuff is happening. So if you're joining me live, thank you for hanging out with me live. And if you're joining me live, I'll give you some shout outs for sure. And if you're joining me on a replay across any of the platforms, so glad you are taking some time out of your crazy day and catching the replay. So um, much love to my replay folks too. So today we're going to jump into um, some questions about the different types of witches that are out there. A lot of my clients are asking me, what kind of witch am I? You know, what am I drawn to? I'm drawn to this kind. What does this mean? Um, so what path am I on? What kind of diff are different types of witches? So there's many different types of witches and I couldn't go over all of them. So I'm trying to keep this down to around 15 minutes so you guys can get in and out, right? Um, so in the comments, I want you to put in there what kind of witch do you think you are or what kind of witch um, do you gravitate toward? I would love to see um, how you're practicing your witchcraft. So, ah, cool. So you are a, um, a green witch. Cool. We're going to talk about that too. So I love green witches. I wish I was more of a green witch. Although this year, well, starting last year, um, my plants have um, become more vibrant and they have really thrived last year. And I think it's because of COVID. I'm actually spending more time at home nurturing and caring for those. My tomato plants are still producing tomatoes. Um, so I did really well in the garden this year. My plants are thriving this year. So I'm super excited about how um, my green thumb and my green witchery, rich, witchery sorry about that, is coming forward this year. Um, so I'm excited about that, seeing my plants thrive. So, um, ah, you're a um, Celtic witch. That's interesting. Celtic, we're not gonna be talking about the paths. We're gonna just talking about um, the different kinds of witches, but that's interesting too, because I started off Celtic and I'm more, more eclectic now. So let's start off with um, oh, I forgot what, I, what I'm um, drinking today because I usually start off with what I'm drinking today. So today I started a new thing. Um, I'm drinking barley tea and you just make it like regular sweet tea, except for putting the tea bags in there. You put barley in there and I put some lemon in there and some honey and a little bit of sweetener. So I'm drinking barley tea today. So I'm super excited about that. Oop, I think my dog's going to cough y'all. So um, let's, so in the comments, tell me what you're sipping on, what your, what your magical brew is that you're drinking today. Um, I love to get new ideas of new teas, um, new ways of making um, drinks. Um, I like to try new herbal teas, new herbal mixes. And so today I'm trying barley tea. So I'm, I'm digging it, I like it. So let's start off first with the gray witch. And we're going to talk about the four witches. So we're going to talk about the gray witch, the dark witch, green witch, and the white witch. But let's start off with the gray witch. Now, the gray witch is pretty much where I am. Okay. So the gray witch kind of is Switzerland, kind of just works in the middle, kind of neutral, kind of magic. But... 
um, they are known as neutral witch or practices neutral magic, which I just talked about. It falls between white and black magic. And what I call them, they practice situational magic. They're either they're neither white nor black. They're very much in the middle. They are very much whatever situation comes up, I'm going to work my magic in, whether it's dark magic or whether it's white magic. And I want to, at the end of this, I want to really talk about the um, dark witch and the white witch or the dark magic and the white magic and how now we are starting to get more awoken to how that has racist undertones. Um, for the, what I call the lizard brain, right? We have to have everything black and white. We have to everything have everything in a little box. So we know what we're dealing with. We have to know what is good, what is evil, what is um, um, black magic, what is white magic. So we can wrap our hand, our mind around our lizard brain around what is good, what is evil and where I need to be. So we are coming more in, up into the consciousness of those kind of white magic and dark magic are pretty much a lot of kind of undertone of racist kind of energy. So you might wanna stay away from that, but that's a hot topic also that's going on. Um, Grey Witch works in the duality of male and female and also of white and dark magic. They're kind of neutral. They're like, all right, I'm gonna be in the middle until you piss me off and then I'm gonna go into the dark magic or until you need healing, then I'm going, going to go into the white magic. And a lot of people use the term of gray witch just for outside appearances, just for people just because they don't want to be judged as someone who works in the dark a lot. Um, so they just kind of like, I'm just a gray witch, right? Because people still have crazy um, ideas of what a dark witch does. And what a white witch does, everybody's like, oh, Glenda the good witch, and it's not that at all. Um, so they both do magic to harm, hex, and also heal. Like I said, a gray witch works their situational magic. So yeah, you agree with me. I'm glad. I'm just reading some of the comments. And if I don't get to your comments right on the live, don't worry about it. I will come back and I will comment as soon as the live is over on um, as many as I can. So um, yeah, gray witches are, are interesting because sometimes you're like, a oh, girl, take a stand, <laughs> right? But then you're like, I'm kind of, I'm cool where I'm at. You know, I'm cool with being, walking, you know, the, the healing and then the hexing and that, you know, it's all about balance. They work in duality, they work in balance. Um, so that's usually where I'm at. I'm a gray witch usually most, most part of the time. Um, but then, you know, I, I'm not opposed to working on hexing or harming or, you know, binding and all that kind of stuff either. So that's the gray witch. Most of you might be in the gray academy, acad gray academy, gray category. Um, now let's move into the devious dark witch energy, right? So what is a dark witch? What do they do? What do they practice? Are they evil? No. And I always say, no magic is either good or bad. It's just magic. It's your intention. So let's talk about the, what the dark magic does and the dark witch and how they work with dark magic. So dark witches work mainly as protection magic. Okay. They do a lot of shadow work, inner healing, inward stuff. The stuff that no one really wants to talk about, the, the nasty shit that you have to heal within yourself, your, your past abuse, you know, your childhood trauma, your, you know, your mother daughter wound, the crap that you don't really want to work with. And they actually work in that kind of energy of healing the inner soul where the deep seeds of your anxiety lives. Um, they work a lot of necromancy or spirit communication. Um, they they're usually a practitioner of harmful magic. And I want to talk about that. Harmful magic, they're just not like, oh, they're going to go harm someone, hey, someone to piss them off, right? We still have kind of harm none kind of rules, if you believe in that. Um, I believe, I don't believe in the Wiccan read. I'm, I'm not Wiccan anymore. I left that, but I do believe in karma. 
but I also do believe, and I'm going to give you a few chances, but once you, you know, aren't leaving this situation or you're not doing what you need to be doing, then I will fucking hex you. So they're, they're considered harmful magic, but not in a good way. I mean, not in a bad way. It's more of like protection magic. It's like um, if you have a, a, a client comes to you, right? And is going through a bad abusive situation, really bad. They will do that harmful kind of magic to make the other person just be really either sick or like, I can't, um, I don't feel well, or I need to leave the situation. They make the situation harmful to that person who is doing that negative energy toward that other person in order for them to leave that person alone. So even though it's considered harmful energy or spell work, it's really not. It's more like powerful healing, okay? Um, they do dominance magic, which is sometimes considered the left-handed path. I always think that a dark witch is more left-handed than the white witch is more right-handed kind of thing. But it's dominance not over a person so much. It can be, but it's dominance. And I don't, I want you to think about what the word dominance means. And I want you to reevaluate it. You can have dominance over your money. You can have dominance over your, your pet, over your husband, over your relationship, but it doesn't mean that you are a mean person. It just means that you are taking control of this situation, right? It just means that you are no longer letting this person harm you or hurt you. You are going to stand tall above them and you're going to stand your ground and you are going to, you know, do what you need to do to dominate this situation so it comes out to your benefit. So that's really what dominance magic is about. And then they're considered um, malevolent magic. And we're going to talk about that some. So you, it's back to our lizard brain, right? What is good and what is evil? We have to put that crap in a box. And I want you to just leave that alone. I want you to really expand on your inner thoughts about what is dark and what is light to you. Because you can do harmful magic in the energy of white light. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, dark witches get a bad rap. Um, I tended to gravitate more a lot in the darker stuff than the lighter stuff if I had to pick one. I'm mostly gray, but if I had to pick one, I am very much more comfortable in the dark than I am the, the white magic. I started off a little bit of a white magic, but I really wasn't drawn to that. I wanted more of the darker energy kind of stuff. Um, the protection magic, I know um, me and my um, coven members did some graveyard um, hexing on a person one day that was very harmful to her stepchild. So we did a lot of um, binding and hexing and um, a lot of spells that had to do with dominance over that situation, over that person, so that person would no longer harm. So... And I don't have a problem with that. I love that. I love that I'm going to, bitch, I'm going to take control of this situation and it's going down. So you can send all the light and love you want to, but sometimes it's, you, you got to get down and dirty and I don't have a problem with that at all, at all. Yeah, every situation is different. So let's move on to number three, the green witch. Now, a lot of you may resonate with the green witch. So the green witch works with a mostly herbal and plant magic, okay? So they'll do herbs and plants and their magical essence for healing or spell work. So they do a lot of spell work involving herbs, um, um, nature kind of things, and um, things, um, magic that has to do with um, Mungaya, okay? So healing through herbs and plants and flowers and they really connect with plants and earth energy so you will see them out there usually in the garden or they will know the magical properties of all of the plants without really having to they just have a natural knack for it really without having to really study it they will um 
really do well with plants in um, honoring them and their medicinal purposes and spell work bringing in the um, energy of the plants. You will see them earthing a lot. You will see them being really connected to the cycles of the earth. And they can turn a dying plant into this beautiful, blooming, thriving um, plant. So I really give kudos to <laughs> the green witches in our community because they do a lot of healing through plant magic. And also they love nature spirits and they work a lot of nature with a lot of nature spirits like tree energy with um, gnomes, with elves, with um, earth spirits, right? So, yeah. So you think you're a green witch. Yeah, you do really well. And green witch, you know, kitchen witchery may fall under green witch because it is a lot of herbal um, medicines. Um, so they'll be really good. They, they do really well with bringing in what I call granny magic, the old kind of natural remedies, the salves, the healing, the herbal stuff, um, the tinctures um that kind of like a lost art so they do really well with that and so you think you're agreeing with because you do really well with plants good awesome and you connect with nature spirits yeah you're probably a green witch i'd say if that resonates most with you then you're probably a green witch so number four and the final one is a white witch now they always say, think of Glenda the Good Witch when you think of the White Witch. But people who are witches who practice white magic or is a white witch, their magic is used for selfless reasons. Remember we talked about the dark witch, right? Where they use kind of dominance. They're kind of like using it for um, selfish kind of reasons. Like this is what I want. I want money so I can do this, I can do that. Or I want this person to stop irritating me because I want them to leave me alone, whereas white witches do more selfless magic. So they practice a lot of healing, a lot of blessings, a lot of prayers and um, incantations, okay? But they are considered um, benevolent magic, whereas the other one was malevolent. So this is more of like a sweeter, kinder kind of magic. Oh, you're a white witch. And everybody gravitates. Everybody's like, if you're going to call yourself a witch, call yourself a white witch sometimes because people aren't as scared. Oh, you do good work then. No, you can be a white witch and you can still fuck some shit up. Don't think that just because you're a white witch, all you do is good stuff because you don't. So they work more as a collective energy for the universe or the community or as a whole, okay? Or as a dark witch very much is in their person, is in their center, is in their like immediate um, energy, who is in their immediate circle that needs help. Whereas a white witch looks at the universe as a whole and tries to raise the awareness and consciousness of the whole through spell work and raising vibrations. So you will find a lot of people doing the white um, witch kind of magic. Ah, yeah, that's a very good way to put it. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah, you do a lot of blessings. And uh, you'll find, uh, even though um, you'll find some aspects of all of this, because you can have herbals medicine or you can have flowers that kind of have a darker energy you do have protection herbs right or you do have love herbs so these are you can bring in all different kind of aspects of these witches or the types of magic that you use um and you can use you know white witch kind of energy to harm people it's just like the sun um or you know it's beautiful it's wonderful it's warm but if it can be really intense and it can burn the shit out of you if you stay in it too long, right? So even though say, oh, the sun is warm and nice and sweet and you're sending me lots of love and no, bitch. <laughs> it can really burn you too. So sometimes the dark energy is kind of hidden in that, the cloaked in that white light kind of thing. So be careful if someone calls you themselves a white witch because don't think they're all, you know, practicing good right, or evil, um, because they're not, they're practicing more of raising the consciousness as a whole community. So let me know in the comments which one you resonate with the most, 
or which one that you're interested in learning more about or um, anything that has to do with you have any questions about magic in which category it goes under which you think it is now this is just a jumping off spot for um, the newbie witches um, people who are coming out of the broom closet or someone who wants to dive deeper into a different aspect of witching. There's so many different types of witches out there. This is just my top four. So I would like to see um, other types of witchcraft that you are interested in and also um, how you practice your witchcraft. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed the talk today on what kind of magic and witches out there. If you are a gray witch, dark witch, green witch, or a white witch, I would love to have your feedback and I would love to know. So, all right, my witchies, witch on, and we will see you in the next training. Bye, everyone. Bye.